Okay, um, today I wanted to tell you something about uh, components. Uh, you see this components over here? So, um, so I wanted to explain something about that. So components are nothing but uh, like what you see over here is what you have in your component table. Okay, so this is the component table. Like I said, uh, you know, component, you need to fill your component table with the compounds that you want to quantitate for right you want your calibration curves for so um, so these components will show up over here under components okay uh, I mean if you look closely you know uh, what it shows is you know like a picture of a molecule uh, if you look very closely and uh, you know right besides that you'll see a red exclamation mark right now right right uh, red exclamation mark okay so um, Let's uh, let's l let's hover around one of them. Uh, let's see if I click on this and hover around. Okay. Component detected but confirmation failed because the reference peak could not be found. Okay, went away. And component not found in quantitation trace. Okay. So it could not find the reference peak. That is, it could not find 57. You know, 57 is our MS quantitation peak. It could not find that. You know, at first, you know, when I when I was doing this for the first time, you know, it was very surprising. Why, why I mean, why it could not find? I mean, it's so obvious, right? And it seems to have, you know, you like you put in the right retention time and windows and everything, and still it could not find. So then I realized, if I go to my MS detection tab, okay, let me move this up a bit so you can see. So I realized that you know I'd use the Cobra Wizard, and uh, you know to uh, so as to find my uh, peaks you know the required peaks I put a minimum area okay so anything below this area is not detected okay so but remember this area is uh, is is applicable for everything you know not only for tick so in the like if I put something like this um, let's say 50 to 700 And if I hover around this, you know, it shows a different error. The component is detected, but confirmation failed because no confirmation trace. Okay, whereas for this one, is the reference peak could not be found. Okay, so there are two things, there are two reasons why this exclamation mark is there. First of all, uh, you know, for uh, like C30 to C44, it could not find the reference peak. And the second one is, uh, you know, uh, it has no confirmation trace, which is okay. You know, I, I, I can put a confirming ion over there. But what I wanted to get was, you know, since I put this minimum area, anything below this area, it does not detect as a peak. Okay, so if I remove this criteria, you know, criteria of minimum area. Okay, and uh, go over here and change this back to fifty-seven. Okay, so now if you see. Uh, Strange. Didn't I put this? Okay. Component detector and function for reference probably it still could not find the reference B. That's surprising. Let me see. I miss component. Uh, C twenty. There is a peak over there, but it just does not want to find it let's figure out what's going on so it found everything else it found all the other peaks but c20 it could not find uh, 0 0.008 let me change this window maybe this window is a bit uh, I don't, I don't think so, but let me change it to five. Okay, now it detects a peak. So maybe that was probably because uh, you know the window at which it's looking for the peak it was too narrow. Okay, so and maybe that's why it could not find the peak. Anyway, now you now you see like it has um, you know it has detected the peak. 
this peak. So when I click on MS components, it shows you just the extracted uh, ion chromatogram. Okay, just in this window. So this is nothing but you know this MS component window or pane is nothing but you know this thing zoomed out uh, or zoomed in. You know, this thing zoomed in and it zoomed into the display window of point one. Okay. Okay. So now um, I think we are good. So now if I hover around this, the only reason why it has an exclamation is because there's no confirmation trace okay so um, so let's put in a confirmation trace okay so let's put a confirmation ion okay so like 57 is you know um, the quant ion you know it's a very common ion for you know straight chain hydrocarbons another common ion uh, is uh, 85 okay and I think 70 let's see what it is uh, let's this one. Yeah, 71. Right? 71, 85. So let let me put 71. Okay. So the way you do it is right click, add confirming peak. Okay. So it, yeah, another table uh, comes up, and so if I put uh, 71. Okay. And I th if you saw my other video, you know, um, you know the concept of channels, you know. I try to do this one and it will not do so I think for the you know to fill this extracted ion you know to fill this MS quant and MS confirming we need to do it manually Oops. 71 71 71 okay so as soon as I put in the confirming ion it gives a nice green red check mark right on each of these components meaning that the conf component is detected and confirmed okay so um, so hopefully like you have got the concept of uh, this components over here and you know uh, what to do if you find the uh, exclamation mark okay uh, so in, like the most common reason is uh, yeah you know it has you have not put the confirming peak another reason is you know uh, check your ms detection settings and make sure that uh, you know you have you don't have any minimum area set okay because usually in, if you run the cobra wizard you know sometimes um you know to eliminate uh, uh, some of the very very small peaks you put a minimum area but you have to realize that um, you know sometimes uh, the ms quant uh, ion uh, falls below that minimum area okay and that's why it's not detected and um, a, uh, a third reason is uh, check your windows check your windows at which it uh, at which uh, it tries to detect uh, the peak okay and make sure it's you know wide enough to catch uh, the whole peak okay okay I think I've explained to you the uh, concept of uh, components over here uh, now if I go to this fourth injection hydrocarbon mix underscore FID okay um, like it will show me uh, obviously the tick is not available you know because it's FID okay I did not have the mass spec turned on for you know detection so but if I go over here on the front detector that is the FID let me zoom out you know, so you can see so so what you see over here is uh, you know the FID uh, you know it has so this peak over here is you know the solvent peak so let's let's zoom in on this area you know the area where we have our hydrocarbons and if i do auto scale right click auto scale okay there you have your peaks right so as you can see um you know it has tried to detect a few compounds but you know based on uh, uh so the way so based on this one like it you know whatever information you have put in this table okay so it tries to detect peak um, since the, now remember now remember this is an FID channel okay it, you know MS quant MS confirming this has no meaning in this right so uh, so when you have FID you need to go to another table okay another table 
called component table okay so let me show you <clears throat> so if I just right click anywhere you know just anywhere anywhere just anywhere uh, like anywhere over here I mean go to page selector and if I say component table okay looking to advanced but I think this should be okay component table okay so if I go to this component table you know it already has everything that's needed you know the same uh, the same peaks um, uh, you know the same peaks but if you see there's there is no quant and confirming ion right there's no quant and confirming ion so um, you know because it's because it's an FID right it does not have any such ions you know it's uh, what it has is just uh, you know peak area so uh, but but if I go over here it, you'll see component not detected component is detected you know it, you know detects a peak uh, like in this area but you know obviously it is not the right peak it has detected some small peak so so what you need to do uh, I mean first of all you know this thing is not uh, integrated properly right like um, uh, so let's uh, let's uh, let's do this let's let's run um, I mean we can run the Cobra wizard but uh, that's not going to solve uh, this integration problem so let me let me uh, let me zoom in on this um, okay so you see what's happening in this peak on this peak you know it has detected you know many many small peaks now remember now remember since this is FID you know any change to MS detection and you know, any change to MS detection will not have effect you know if you do Genesis or ISIS because Genesis and ISIS are MS detection algorithms okay they are not analog detector algorithms okay so even if you change the, the there's no like it's not going to have any effect on the um, integration okay the only thing that works is you know Cobra uh, and you have to use it from here you know, Cobra or chromidian 6 algorithm so if I click on chromidian 6 you know it seems to have detected properly right so um, okay let's uh, uh, let's go with chromidian 6 because you know it seems to have detected the peak uh, very well okay the chromidian 6 algorithm but in another video I'll show you you know how to make uh, you know these uh, this peak uh, integrate properly using the cobra algorithm you know because there are many parameters we can change to make this look um, uh, make it look like the way we want right like the way we expect you know even though there are some uh, what it thinks is a peak we know that they're not peaks okay but I'll show, uh, show that to you in another video okay uh, so f like for now let's choose chromidian 6 because you know it has integrated uh, pretty well and let me zoom out so I'll right click so instead of full size you know the full zoom out or double clicking over here what I'll do is unzoom just unzoom okay if I do that okay it has unzoomed let me do it one more time unzoom okay you see this is uh, so you know it unzoom means it takes one step backward you know one step backward in sense you know one step before you zoomed in okay and uh, so now uh, let's um, um, let's fill our component table so now like um, so this is the same processing method okay so now if you fill the component table okay if I fill the return uh, you know the right retention time you know so so the retention time has shifted a bit because not sh like shifted a bit from the MS um, from the M uh, from the MS detection channel like from like from this from the second injection and the reason is you know it's an FID and you know the flow rate, the flow rates might be a bit different you know because you know there is vacuum in the MS and stuff like that so let's uh, so let's put the right uh, retention time okay so if I just click on here so you won't see anything over here since this is uh, you know FID right you won't see any mass spectra so what I'm looking for and where I'm looking is over here uh, in this right corner okay uh, sorry like the left corner so that I can get the correct uh, um, 8.99 okay. okay there you go and let me unzoom
eleven point six five. Okay, so it has detected the right peak. This one is thirteen point four one. Thirteen point four one. This one is fourteen point two seven. This one is fifteen point three eight. Fifteen point three eight. Okay, let me unzoom so that I have the last peak. And this peak is eighteen point seven eight. Okay, so now it has detected. You know all the peaks, uh, but this is in the FID channel. Okay, so this is in the FID channel. So, um, so uh, there can be only one component table. You know, it can be either the MS component table. So, so you know, so like the MS component table also has the same retention times that we entered. Okay, um, so if I go back to my previous injection, okay, and I select the tick. You know, it's not going to detect it because you know, since the retention times have shifted, and you know, um, it's like it's not going to detect the, detect these peaks, right? We have changed the retention times. Okay. Um, so if I go to FID front detector, so uh, and you know this, so we go back to the component table because the MS component table, these things have no meaning, right? So we go to the component table. And uh, so over here, uh, the interesting thing is there is no green check mark. You know, it just shows a molecule without, you know, without excess or any, any exclamation mark or anything like that. Okay. So, so generally, uh, like the way I use the mass spec and FID, if I have FID, especially for hydrocarbons, right, is I will use the mass spec for confirming, you know. Confirming that uh, we have a hydrocarbon, but uh, but uh, but uh, but I'll use the FID for quantitation, you know, right? But, you know, because it's easy to use and you know it's uh, um, it's very popular, right? It's very popular for hydrocarbon an analysis, right? Because it is, it is a large linear range and uh, you know and, and and all the good stuff that comes with FID. So generally, uh, that's the way I use it. Um, so. Anyway, hopefully, like you got uh, some idea about how to how to look at the components, right? Uh, when you see components, and you know, if you have a MS component, um, if you have components in MS component table, and you know these things are like exclamation or cross, and then you you got an idea of how to uh, fix that problem, right? Okay. Anyway, I'll stop this video right now.